Hey. It is 8.30 on the dot. What is up? That music's a little loud for me. <clears throat> How's it going? It's the Rollist Warrior here, Gavin. We're going to be uh, playing uh, once again in Enderal, uh, continuing, our, continuing our quest here, continuing where we left off. I got a bit of liquid courage. Um, I hope you enjoy, and we're just going to have some fun with it. Load up a Rolo. I don't remember what we were doing, uh, because yet again, it has been a whole Gregorian month since we dove into this game last. But, you know, I try to keep it keep it uh, interesting for you. What is this in my hand? Oh, it's a shield. It's a shield. Oh, I'm high up. I'm high up, huh? Oh, yes. I remember. We were, we were flirting with that cute... Uh, That uh, cute whiz sorceress lady, a flash heal, interesting. And um, water breathing. Uh, I'll take a toolbox of value twenty five. <clears throat> um, I'm kind of stuck up here, aren't I? Like. Is there, oh, okay. There's a ramp. There's a ramp, everybody. <laughs> yeah. But I got cured. I got cured of my, um, I think. God, it's been a long time. I got cured of my fever. Okay, we don't want to go back into old Russian grad. We, we just got out of old Russian grad. Uh, unless this is the way to go. No, there's stairs. Hidden there. Yep, there is stairs hidden there. Ah, oh, fuck. I hear a bear. But I don't see a bear. Where bear? I'm just, you know, gonna get prepared to, like, fucking dart. Oh, there's Bear. We're gonna avoid Bear. Um, where am I going? Report to Constantine, what has transpired? Okay. There's no fast travel in this game, so I just kinda have to, just kinda have to walk it. But that's fine. We like walking, walking's good for, uh, good for the body. Good for the soul. Do a little quick save. So I remember there being a bear over here. Now we did, uh, we did en enlist the help of the uh, <clears throat> the road guards. The last time we encountered a bear on the road, and uh, it was very helpful. They just took it straight to straight to fucking hell. <laughs> just chokeholded the bear and did a uh, did some some MMA on him. And if you don't remember that, well then you're not paying enough attention to my stream. Honestly, I'm a little bit offended. I hate that the sprint button is all the way under my fingers. Like, I guess I'm supposed to hit that with my thumb. Hey, cow. What's up? No shit. Oh, 
I love cows. They're just big dogs. With wetter kisses. If I'm correct, Constantine is the loudmouthed old guy who we were told was like extremely nice. And then we were like, yes, <laughs> actually led to believe that uh, through his actions, he's kind of an old coot, an old codger. I thought, that, I thought that guy was going to like stop me. <laughs> no sudden moves, guards. Oh yeah, I gotta get to the Sun Temple. Uh, which is this way, according to my expert map reading skill. Ahem, <clears throat> to you. We once again admire the marvel and the majesty that is Ark. Quite a large and impressive city. <clears throat> this guy's just like straight like doing some kung fu. This is the sneaky servant's entrance. Because we walked through the front door last time and I had to dress all fancy like a rich, rich snob. But now I'm just patrolling through their, uh, through their barracks. Mm-hmm. Okay. This way. The up direction. Yeah, fucking hell, that's large. Yes. And it's also pretty impressive that we've really only explored, like, this much of the map so far. Like, I can't even imagine what the Frostcliff Mountains would be like. They're humongous. Unless this is, like, the game right here. <laughs> Still big, though. Because I've only, well, I guess I've gone this far. That's kind of about, like, 30% or so. Listen, they made a whole game with like a relatively small studio inside of Skyrim. I'm just, I'm gonna give them the, the benefit of the doubt there. Like this game never ceases to impress me. I mean, sure, they didn't do all of the work. This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. Well, in the city. I'm gonna. No, the Archmagister ordered me back. Ignore you. Feels good to be here, to be honest. The funerals. I could have done without them, though. I don't doubt that. I wonder how much they were paying the voice actors for this gig. I should look that up at some point. Now, if it isn't the prodigy. Well, now if it isn't the prodigy, well, yes, I know. She's already told uh, me everything. Um, well, then why not? Work, even though part of her report seemed to be a bit enthusiastic, but I'll leave the judgment to Aranthiel. He wants to talk to you anyway. Seems you've caught his interest. Like, the guy? Ah. Uh... Didn't I tell you that already? He's the highly yeah. esteemed, holy grand master of the order. Tilor Aranthial, son of Lorius the First, praised be his name. An old legend, risen from the dead, or something like that. Or oh, some such shit. Anyway. 
In the Emporium, the last building on the left side of the temple. Just tell the guard that Aranthiel has asked for you, and they will let you in. That easy, ah, yes. huh? Before I forget, my dame Lucy has left a token of gratitude for you. It's your choice. Do you want a book, an old map, or a bag of pennies? Um... The map seems interesting. Very well. Now get a move on. I wonder if that was a test. I'm sure we'll talk again later. Was I supposed I'm sorry, was I supposed to pick the book? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Can I do it again? I'm so sorry. I know you're like, kind of like a big nerd. And now, I if it isn't the prodigy. I should have picked well, the book. He's he's acting all snarky now. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. I'm tired of hearing that. Y'all, I'm just going to keep walking around here. If 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 the game didn't want me to be here, it wouldn't tell me to be here. I'm just going where it told me to. Carlos, why's that? I don't know, but I think it's about the tone he wanted to transfer. Man. This place is impressive. Walk flash. I didn't even have to say shit to him. He's like, "Oh, you you want to go kill the uh you want to go kill the high high leader of our order? That's fine." And to send an entire division across the sea because of a suspicion is madness. We need to find out who sent the mercenaries. Mm. This pig asked said that they were after the signet stone, and if they succeed in getting hold of it next time, then the Black Guardian alone knows how to stop the cycle. The cycle? Listening to you talk almost makes me forget that all this fuss here is merely based on some bad dreams you and your Neremese friends had. Oh, the threat is real. Deny it as much as you like, but deep inside, you feel it as much as I do. Teela, this... you're a commander. And a commander doesn't care about feelings, but about facts. You have made this mistake before, Tilor, back then in Kira. And Natara, we all know... the mission will happen. I'm sorry. You have a visitor. That's my cue. So, you are the prodigy everyone is talking about. Interesting. I am Tilor Aranthia, son of Larius I and Grandmaster of the Order. And I'm honored to meet you. What is your You're name? honored to meet me? Whoa. I don't have a fancy title. My name is Rollo. Yes. And I will come straight to the point. You are here because I believe that you are special. Humanity faces a threat that needs to be stopped. And to achieve this, you are indispensable. Yeah, uh, talk about the red madness. The thing that people go cray cray. Among other things, yes. I do not need to explain to you that the present situation on Vin is chaotic. The wars, the living dead, common people who are losing their minds, to name only the most obvious. What most people are not aware of is the connection between these events. You, however, have encountered it, as have I. The, uh, yeah, so those visions, uh, you know where they come from? I do. Question mark? And I will explain everything to you. What it means, who we are, and what your part in all of this is. Come, follow me. Maybe you yeah, okay. already know who I am. My entire life, I served the gods who ruled Vin. Until their death two years ago. What you probably do not know is that the one responsible for their death is my son, Narazul Aranthiol. He hated the Lightborn because he believed that they robbed mankind of their right to freedom, so he strived to overthrow them. He found followers, formed an army and declared war on them, and thus on me, a servant of the Lightborn as well. It all ended in a battle 30 years ago which Narazul won. He killed every single survivor except for me and locked me in a dungeon on Nerim. 
I still do not know why he spared me. How old are you? You... You lost a war, a, a battle 30 years ago to your son, who must, I assume, have been an adult. Let's do the math. Let, let, let's stop here. Let's do the math on this. How old is this fucking guy? Because he looks maybe like 60. 30 years ago, he, that would have made him 30. He didn't have an adult son at 30. Like, how fucking old are you? Okay, I digress. This is this is not not important. Uh, so, Lightborn, they're really dead. If you, the Order of the Gods, acknowledge that fact, why do people not know about it? Good question. Because at the moment, stability is the highest good. Even more so, considering what we are facing. The rulers of Kira and Kile both made the mistake to acknowledge the death of the gods to their people, and the civil wars that followed in their countries are evidence of the chaos that such a revelation entails. Oh, so you're just lying to people. It's the cradle of the order of the gods, the epitome of theocracy. It is unthinkable what would happen if we confirmed these rumors. Makes I sense. I am sure you understand this. Maybe when all this is over, that will change. But for now, it is imperative that we deny all rumors of that kind. Except to you. We'll tell you the fucking truth, because you're so important, I guess. Nerazul, if Neranth, Neranthazul was your son, why did he hate the gods so much? Shouldn't that have been, uh, I don't know, devoted to him? There were circumstances favoring the development. But it's a long story, which we won't discuss now. They did him dirty? Yeah. That seems about right. Yes. After more than 30 years... When the death of the gods made the magic around the prison disappear. And during my escape in the northern mountains of Nerim, I also had them for the first time. The dreams. Oh, I'm following you again. I always saw the same glaring, terrible light. Heard screaming. And I felt like I was burning up from the inside. And above all, like a veil, there was the knowledge of imminence. At first, of course, I dismissed these dreams as the delusion of a man close to death. So I concentrated on making it through the mountains somehow. Two days after my escape, I was completely Stop exhausted. Again. And I would have died if a former acolyte of my son had not found me. They weren't your enemies then? Yes, but he did not recognize me and brought me to their headquarters instead, an old monastery in the mountains. The others were aware of my identity, but for whatever reason they did not kill me. Maybe because they thought that the death of the Lightborn had made me insignificant. I do not know. Still, even after my recovery, the dreams continued. At first, I doubted my sanity. But after some time, I told the leader of the mages, Constantine, about them. And I said something that I had never expected. I was not alone. He, as well as many others magically gifted on Vim, dreamed the same dreams. And the more we talked about the matter, the stronger our suspicion grew. Which has now turned out to be the truth. The dreams. They come from the same place. They are a shared memory. You mean the dreams originate from what? A common mind? A collective subconscious. Yes. I know that you can feel it too, and probably far more intense than we do. But like you back then, we were not able to make sense of the images. So we went looking for answers. In the remains of the civilization that was before us, the Pyrians. Thus, the excavations, like in old Russian grad. Uh, what'd you find out? Three things. First, there were many civilizations before us and before the Pyrians. Maybe hundreds, maybe thousands. Second, the history of each civilization unfolded and still unfolds according to a pattern. They emerge, they blossom. And at some point, at the apex of their existence, they simply disappear without any trace. 
and third, everything that has happened in the past years and which is still happening indicates that this disappearance lies ahead of us. We are part of an eternal loop, a cycle, and our cycle is approaching its end. Hmm. Yes, it does. At first, we considered it absurd, as probably you do at this moment. But there came a moment when we simply could not deny it anymore. We began to study the history of the Pyrians more intensely, and the parallels were extraordinary. In its early days, the Pyrian Empire was split up by a disaster, just like Vin was split up by the Starfall after the reign of the Eterna. Also, the Pyrians had a ruling caste who declared themselves gods after the catastrophe. The two castes of the Sun Priest. They, too, ruled until they were overthrown. This overthrowing was followed by an outbreak of wars and chaos. And then, just like that, the Pyrians ceased to exist. They knew it was imminent, but they could not prevent it. They called this event the Cleansing. There's a lot of exposition going on right now. That is the question we need to find an answer to. The end was not violent, at least not in a sense as we know it. There was no natural disaster, no magical explosion, no plague. Even though there was war in the Pyrian Empire before its ruin, when the cleansing happened, it was as if all living beings simply fell down and died. It is ghastly. Okay. Well, this is the reason why we need your help. Not only episodes of history recur within every cycle, characters do as well. Characters recur? Yes. The Pyrians call them the Emissaries. They emerge very shortly before the cleansing occurs, like a law of nature, an answer to the Red Madness. And I am one of them, as are you. While I take on the role of the ruler, you take on the role of the prophet. Uh, okay. It's just a description. Call it what you will. But without doubt, it is the truth. Your story matches the descriptions perfectly. Yes, former enemies or not, both sides have understood the magnitude of the threat. The magical knowledge of Narazul's former mages is vast, as is the power of the Holy Order. Even though not all of the Keepers agree, as you probably have already noted yourself. Hmm. No, as I already said, the emissaries simply appear at the beginning of the end, like pieces on a chessboard. We are determined by our skills. How and to what end we use them is our choice. Interesting. I do not know. Firespark the mage has told me your story, and even though your fate is tragic, Unlike me, you were insignificant before your change. So maybe everyone can become an emissary. We simply have not understood the pattern yet. Hmm. What defines the prophet? On the one hand, your power. You carry the potential to master any skill within a fraction of the usual time needed. I assume you have already realized this. On the other hand, your ability to look into the past and therefore into the future. What does that mean? Your visions are a window into the past. And as every cycle is based on the same events, it is a window into the future as well. Huh. You can feel the thread this world is woven with. And because of that, you can see things that have happened and thus will happen again. This gift makes you indispensable to us. And it is why I want your help. Hmm.
do you think that we can overcome this cycle in the first place, after hundreds of civilizations have failed? That is the wrong question. The correct question is, what alternative do we have? To wait and die? Uh, that's fair. I'm not going to tell the ruler of this, like, fucking kingdom that uh, I want... I want a mi monetary reward for saving the world. Like, yeah, that's not... Good. All right, let's help. However, there's one more thing before the actual work begins. I want you to join our order. And to do so, you have to pass a test. A trial. Oh, I hate tests. It is. Whatever you think about our story, we are the only faction that is strong enough to oppose the cycle. If you want to be part of our mission, you need to have access to our knowledge and resources. That's fair. There will be voices in the Order speaking against your admission, as they are speaking against the presence of the Neremese mages. Consider it an honor or a necessity. <laughs> it is up to you. It is the trial the novices have to pass in order to be exalted to the role of a keeper. Only the best students of the Squala are allowed admission, and even though you have not been a novice, I want you to take it too. At this very moment, two novices are on their way to the testing grounds. I have informed them about your arrival. Uh, okay. I had a hunch. Let us leave it at that. Okay. At the border to the heartland, near the Whisper Wood. They will be waiting for you there. Take the Myret, talk to Signet Master Bartar, and hand him this package. And then follow his orders. Ah, oh, one more thing. It might be self-evident, but keep your knowledge about the death of the Lightborn to yourself. <laughs> yeah, that seems fair. I do not believe you can do any real harm. But in the worst case, path-abiding people will consider you a heretic. After the cycle has been stopped, we will deliberate upon how we deal with the matter. If and how we tell our people about it. But not now, that is for sure. Now, leave. The sooner we can dispense with this formality, the better. Okay. Whatever you look, where is this supposed to be? I don't know what he meant about taking the Myrat. I don't know what the fuck that means. <clears throat> I'm just gonna look at my map. Oh, okay. Myrat Tower, border of the Heart. Oh, okay. I think I, I think I know what that means. I don't. I'm like, this is one of those games because your your uh, stamina regeneration is not assured. It's like, do I really want to sprint? Because I'm gonna run out of energy. Forgot what a big dork I look like. Ah, fire. <laughs> this big ass bucket helmet. Eh, it's fine. It protects my head from, a, from attacks. 
Yes. Fashion, fashion be damned. And it protects my head from attacks. Monsieur? Although, didn't I get, um... Didn't I pick up, uh... City Guard? Attire. That's a light armor. Hmm. Yeah, it's a 31, 24. Yeah, it seems kind of dumb. Bloody weather. I will wear the boots though. Anything to boost my armor rating. Sir? Walk blessed. Hello. Hello. How am I supposed to pay that much? She's got a sultry voice. Okay, so, yeah, these roads are like, not the most obvious or apparent, but that seems, that seems more realistic to me, right? Like, they can't build just a super highway over a, over a river or something. If, there, if there's a river, it's like, okay, well, we gotta either build a bridge or go around it. Definitely worth a quick save here. Ah, crap. There. I'd rather not have that whole conversation again. Okay, so there is like a little, yeah. Yeah, I could go around here. Around this little pond. Little frog, po froggy pond, froggy. Your damn wolves. There's rats in this house too. Seriously though, rats. Rats should not take that much, uh... Oh, no! Oh, okay, it's just a book. Ooh! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm over-encumbered. Shit. Alright, let's see what I can get rid of. Probably some junk. Yeah, let's toss those. Let's toss. Oh, the iron boots are better than the boots I'm wearing. Hmm. Did I just toss those? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Shit. Uh. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of the iron shield. Here's the problem. I get into this every time. Uh, it's just I love, I love hoarding shit. Okay, I don't need two, I don't need any brittle longbows, actually. I already have an iron claymore of flames, so I don't need a regular iron claymore. 
Uh, probably not going to make use of the iron daggers, the iron sword, or the iron war axe. Or the knife. Or the old sword anymore. Uh, those, that's a good thing. Okay. Those are the same. This one I could sell, though. All right. I'm good. We're good, everybody. Oh. I'm going the wrong way. Hmm. Fuck. You running away? Huh? That's right. Come get some. Dude, I don't want in your I don't want your territory, man. You're, we're good here. Alright, uh... Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go that way. Lavender. Some mountain flowers. We're just gonna just gonna pick up a little happy tree right here. Get him! Get his ass! Seriously though, like how strong are rats in this world? Like, I shouldn't have to swing, like, 300 times to kill a rat. <sighs> now I gotta eat something. I don't have anything to eat. It's not good. Maybe I should have, just putting it out here. Um, oh, you know what? Bam, bam. This is a lot of spells that I just learned here. <laughs> Let's check it out. Look at that, it's a lot of spells. Um, let's just, like, pick up Flash Heal. See, taking potions worsens my arcane fever. Healing myself worsens my arcane fever. It's a lose-lose. What was the button? Oh, there it is. So, mom was to the place. Cotton. At least I can make my own ambrosia. But I need pipe weed to do it, and that sucks. Ah, oh, fuck. Hi, women. That's all I need. It's just you and me, man. Get some. Did 
Dude's at the top. Boom! All right then. Ah. Nice. Oh shit, that is straight up better. Oh! Damn, am I glad he decided not to use that on me, fuck. Fuck straight off. Ooh, a hunting longbow. All right. I better favorite that spell. Flash heal. Uh. Okay. I see how this is gonna go. Lube. I'll take some lube, you dirty dog. I want that. Ooh, ooh, coins that I can't pick up. God, this is a savage amount of. Uh, iron cuirass. All right, now that my f arcane fever's up to 20 fucking six, let's take an ambrosia. Okay. And then I think the last, the one, the last thing I wanna do, let's see, the hunting longbow does eight. The longbow does six. Let's unfavorite this and favorite this. Always quick save after fighting mobs. Always. Always. The fuck? Oh yeah, we're not like to them yet. Interesting. Okay. Kind of figured we were, but that's that's fine. It's fine. They're approaching. Man, God rays. <laughs> now look at that. Are you kidding? Some folks just never learn. <laughs> Yeah, heaven forbid what? I should try to That's travel. <laughs> well, you didn't try to attack me while I staggered, or while I was staggered. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, shit. Ah! 
Um, this is not good. off okay I do need to just go for a healing real quick yeah and then pick my shield back up all right tired of you oh shit Wow. Consider me fucked. I recovered completely. Fucking piece of shit. You'll pay for that. Oh my god. It's like every encounter is just a is just a brush with death. Oh, oh, cool. Barak, we have scouted the Whisperwood. I know you don't really dare to go there, but east, not far from the old ritual site of the steel crabs at the lake, we've discovered a glow powder workshop of the Ritala in a cave. Imagine all the pennies we could get for that. The Ritala protect the spot with mercenaries who are more skilled than you. You need to overwhelm them with numbers and don't forget train your folks at least a little bit. Take a steel greatsword. Take some take some food. God damn. Ooh. Steel shoes. Those have got to be better than what I'm wearing. Yeah, we're at the point. We're at the point where we're getting steel stuff. Uh, R. What was this guy? Uh, I'm gonna sleep. Just an hour. Should be enough, right? Yep. Fully recovered. There's still wolves hanging out, though. Were you wear? What were you wearing? Oh, never mind. Um, steel cuirass. Yep. And a steel war axe, dude. These guys were fucking loaded. Okay. Nah, I, I like the sword, still. I'm over encumbered. Looking good, though. Uh, yeah, let's drop some more shit. I can get rid of this longbow, actually. It is kind of... Oh, man, I've got so much crap in my pockets. Oh, that's why I was wearing those. Yeah. Sneak is 4% better. Increase your stamina by 4 points. I kind of wanted to keep the wearing those, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's drop this. It's not not even valuable. Let's shed some weight here. Yep. 
Yeah. Somebody's gonna be like really well equipped <laughs> after following my ass around. Eh, but. Yay. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> New lock picked. All right, I've stripped the vagrants of their belongings and clothes. <laughs> Ooh, Corunda mine. I know. I just, I just de-encumbered myself. <laughs> Steel armor looks really good in this game. Not again. <sighs> Fuck off. Trying to keep him, his uh, buddy in between me and the archer. Somebody was shooting ice spikes at me? Damn. Staggered. All right, now I'm being a T up. Shit. Why are you just attacking me? Are you in cahoots? Fuck off. This is not good. I'm not gonna win this. Maybe I can retreat. Get him. Why is everyone ganging up on me? Attack him.
Uh. Okay. Um, this seems like I am gonna take my chances with this claymore. Did I get him? Oh, you mean business, don't you? All right then. Ooh. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Yes. Oh, stamina seems to be the kind of thing that I'm looking at right now. Did I get the other guy? It's kind of hard to tell what happened. Oh, yeah, he died over here. Hmm. I do not want to have to replay that again. I hear more wolves. There's always more wolves. But there's a guy up here who just comes down and tries to f fuck me up while I'm like already in the middle of a fight with somebody else. And that seems rude. It seems really rude and uncalled for. And so I'm gonna mess you up. <laughs> Nope. I'm not, because there's more of you in there. There was more of them. They came down from the mountain. They had no affiliation. No affiliation with those vagrants. But they decided, you know what? Fuck that guy today. I want to kill him for some reason. Not the people that were robbing me on the on the road. Eh, they don't matter. Whatever. Oh yeah, I can uh, meditate. Oops, not this. Uh, why? Yes. It's why. Memories of the Vagrant teach you the usage of potions, po poisons, potions, and light armor. Uh, huh. Strong bowstring. Bows do 12% more damage, bows do another 10% more damage. Okay. Can't, the chance to be detected while the enemy is sneaky. Okay. I might go. You While. When you are wearing. S are solely wearing heavy armor, the chance your enemies will make you stagger with their attacks is lowered. Or splintered limbs, or splinted limbs. If you're wearing solely heavy armor, the falling damage you take is halved. Arrows you intercept with your shield don't do any damage from now on. Oh, yeah, baby. That seems like the one I want. <laughs> Given the current given given the current climate that I live in, the vagrant filled climate. The highwayman filled atmosphere. So this is the whisper wood. Seems shitty. <laughs> Seems shitty. Yes. Grandmaster Alan Thiel sent me. I'm supposed to take the trial to become a keeper? Oh, yes. You're the prodigy. Hmm. 
I was expecting something else. I hope you're aware of what you're getting yourself into. Our novices trained for years for this trial. And as much as I respect the Grand Master, I think this is naive. In other words, it will be dangerous. Be aware of that. Okay. How selfless of you, but as you wish. Uh, then it seems I'm granted the extraordinary honor of exalting the first pathless in the history of the Order to a keeper. The others will scream for joy. <sighs> Give me the package the Grandmaster gave you and say hello to your new comrades. I have to go prepare something. Okay. What? Oh, hello. You're our unexpected addition, aren't you? The prodigy? It does, actually. Yeah, it's really awkward. I'm Kalia Sakaresh, by my path, novice and aspirant to the first sigil. I have been told what you did in old Rationgrad, that you saved the excavations and fought back the mercenaries all on your own. An astonishing feat, truly. You have my respect for that. Well, thank you. Somebody seems to at least appreciate it. Maybe, yes. Sometimes death is the only logical consequence of our actions. You know, I'm really curious as to what the mercenaries thought they were doing. Someone willing to attack the Holy Order is either extremely powerful or extremely naive. Anyway, it's been an honor to meet you in person. Let's talk later. Yeah, she seems nice. I don't want to hear it. You're prattling. I don't want to hear it. Just shove off. Heretics. Okay. All right, enough of the chatter. Come here. Here. These potions will be necessary later, so be careful with them. Apart from that, it's still a few miles to the ritual place. As you're all gifted with magic, the spores in the forest ahead will make you a little dizzy, but we won't stay for long. Any questions? Uh, long story. Simply put, they come from a special kind of mushroom that has infested this forest, and staying near them worsens the Arcanist's fever. <sighs> Oh, great. So, in case you're thinking about exploring further, take some magical protection and some ambrosia with you. Oh. Nice. Good. Stay close to me. That didn't suck at all. So this is the Whispering Forest. Fascinating. I've read a lot about it, but never actually seen it. Poor thing. My brothers and I have seen the border countless many times before. But I bet you know all about the Undercity's rat holes instead. Careful. <gasps> Puss. <gasps> Sorry, pus beetle. What? That's all you got. That was a get ready. Hold on. Wow. Died before we even started. That's fun. That's always fun. 
It's not embarrassing at all. Oh, please don't. Korak Woodrow conquered the city. Instead, you will be ashamed. All right, I learned my lesson. Quick save after the the creepy thing. And we're gonna switch to a longbow. So this is the Whispering Forest. Fascinating. I've read a lot about it, but never actually seen it. Poor thing. My brothers and I have seen the border countless many times before. But I bet you know all about the Undercity's rat holes instead. More of them! <sighs> I'm too old for this. Ugh. Oops, sorry. Hold on. We are going to get fucking wrecked so seriously. Oh my god. I'm gonna die of arcane theater. See that? Yes, that man. What is he doing? Who cares? He's probably just a traveler. He shouldn't be here. No merchant in his right mind would voluntarily travel through the Whispering Forest. We'll go take a look at him. Stay ready. Do I have any ambrosia? No. I'm gonna die in here. <laughs> I'm gonna die in here. I'm already at 65% and those mushrooms are just gonna make it worse. I see it. She's with me now, forever. Kirosh. What? You there? Who are you? And what are you doing here? She's with me now, forever. What are you, deaf? Identify yourself. His eyes. Master, this is the Red Madness. Shit, of course. You will put away that pickaxe right now, my sir, and then get on your knees. She wanted to leave. Don't you understand? She wanted to leave me. Just like that. This is now, disgusting. She will stay. She will... By the righteous path! Have you lost your mind? I could ask you the same thing, damn it! Did you forget what Magister Yero did to the novices? This man could have attacked us at any moment. Oh, really? Malthus protect us from your cunning. 
But did the thought ever cross your mind that one needs to understand a disease in order to heal it? And that some apothecary might have given their left hand for a living patient? This... you're not being fair, Master. I... I was only protecting us. Like heck you did! You behaved like an idiot! And not for the first time! The other Masters might ignore that fact due to your religious commitment and your bloodline, I get that. But if something like this ever happens again, you will be suspended from the rites and will spend the rest of your life polishing prayer banks in the Sanctum. Do I make myself clear? He really was trying to protect us, Master. Maybe... Do I make myself clear? You... You do, Master. And I beg your forgiveness for my offense. <sighs> Granted. Now let's push on. We will take care of the body after the ritual. Damn. <laughs> he got fucking... called out. Which, he deserves it. Little dickhole. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. Oop, no. The right hand. The left hand needs to use my, my shield. Are you okay? Just save it. <sighs> I like her. I think we're supposed to. She might die. God, are you kidding me? Are we gonna like just I would like to stay over here, away from the mushrooms, thank you. This place is really neat. Here it is, the first foothold. This is where Malthus's vassals erected their first camp. So behave yourselves accordingly. You too, Prodigy. <laughs> Yeah, we're still following you. I'm just gonna get up here because I'm tired of... Well then, before we start, there's something I need to tell you. Something, uh, important. The rumors concerning the deaths of the Lightborn, they're true. What? The gods are dead. They fell two winters ago beneath the sword of an unknown traveler. We, that is the Order, have known about this for quite some time now, but haven't told the common people yet. But since the two, the three of you intend to take the trial, there's no way to disguise the truth anymore. But how can a god die? Uh, there was a prophecy, as old as the Lightborn themselves, in which there was talk of a Shadow God, who would end the era of gods. And it came true. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're telling us that the gods have been killed, and you are sorry. What's next? That tomorrow the sun will stop shining? Tell us that, that this is a test, Master. It is, isn't it? A test of our faith. No, the Lightborn are dead. But hard as it may be to accept, we cannot afford we? to fall into a spiritual Who the heck is we? Right now. we? The Order of the Gods, Malthus's order, was created to protect the Lightborn. And if what you're saying, this, this blasphemy is true, then we're meaningless. We failed, don't you see that? Oh, by the Black Guardian, I, I just can't believe it. And though I shan't be seen, thou shalt live by my virtue. Third Revelation, verse 137. I know it's hard, Dunmar, but if this is true, we have to show strength and keep on believing in what the Lightborn stood for. Which is the idea of peace and... Oh, just shut your mouth, Sakaresh. If anything, you lowborn scum are living proof that the Order is going downhill. Do you really think I don't know about the village? 
You're a damned witch, and if this were the old times, you would have been crucified long time ago. You don't mean that, Dunmore. Drop it, for heaven's sake! We're all on the same side here. No, we are not. This wench doesn't have any right to wear the white robes. And if you would spend more time with the holy scriptures instead of your brandy bottle, Ooh. you would see it as well. But no, you just... Shut up! I swear to you, one more word and you will wish that I just suspended you. But... No buts! Do you understand? Yes. <sighs> I hope so, for your sake. <sighs> Just be glad that this is a time when we need skilled mages more than ever. Just be glad. Now enough of this. Our demeanor defiles this sacred place. There will be enough time for depression and personal crisis after the trial. <sighs> Let's recite the holy words. Thou art my light. My glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is I don't my know these words. And thy path I will honor. In life as in death. May, May your light guide, guide, guide me. Good. As you know, this trial will test the fortitude of your spirit. Because this is what um, distinguishes a keeper from a soldier. What distinguishes a wise man from a fool. Keep that in mind. Now, drink the potion I gave you. You first, prodigy. Let's hope the Grand Master was right about you. I was poisoned. <laughs> I wouldn't be the last one. Did they also tell you the tales about the Keeper's spirit? They've lured you into a trap, you know. And you fell for it. Because you're arrogant. Just as I am. As I was. <sighs> I know I'm not real. At least not according to your definition of the word. But then again, what is reality anyway? If I told you that you and your friend Sirius actually lie dead at the bottom of the sea, and that everything that has happened so far, your journey to Ark, the search at the Sun Coast, was only a dream, would you be able to recognize the truth? The answer is no. Because you don't want to be dead. Therefore, your mind will do anything to make you believe this entire dream you've had was and is reality. How am I able to dream if I'm actually dead? That doesn't make sense. <sighs> doesn't it? Tell me, what is time to the dead and dreaming anyway? The last second before the water floods into your lungs. The very last instant before it tears them apart in your mind. It could be an eternity. A self-created sanctuary built from nothing but your wishes. But what's the point in talking anyway? You don't want to believe me. And I'm tired of trying to make you now leave me alone, before we make the suppressor even angrier. He doesn't like words. He likes the silence. Uh, okay. What? They haven't told you about him? Oh, that's so typical. The suppressor. He's the reason why we will be imprisoned here forever. And why we can't access our feelings and wishes. And he does it because he wants us to lose hope, to stop believing. And, you know, 
Sometimes I wonder if that's exactly what we humans, what I have to do to finally be free. Give up. Detach myself from the dreams of the past. Who knows if there were anything else than phantasms to begin with. But no. No, not yet. It's too early to surrender. And isn't that what makes us human anyway? To hope? And to just keep on waiting for that one miracle that will end the pain once and for all? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. And you will wait with me forever. Uh... Okay. This is cool. Very philosophical, very well written. I enjoy that. What the? How did you do that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you... You simply opened it? But that's impossible. All these years it's kept me from escaping and, and you just... Come on, we we have to look. We we have to look and see what's outside. We won't get far, but but still, we we have to see. Come, lead the way. Oh, why do I have to lead the way? Okay. What's in my inventory? Rattled clothes. A knife. This feels like the beginning. Chairs. Are we aware there's a floating chair? You see this too? Okay. Well, like, I was just checking. No. The gods! These are the scourges of the suppressor! They want to punish us! They're dead corpses. It's fine. Don't have a key. I don't have a key. Oh, okay, that's our cell. So let's go past the floating chair again, through the corpses. Oh. Seducers. I'll take flower, it seems weird. What else seems weird is that they would like leave me in a cell with a knife. Like, oh, it's a fire lever. Probably stop burning the body, shall we? Nothing of use. Just a lot of corpses with a lot of human flesh. Salt. Spare parts. A lot of spare parts. Do I get to take this with me or is this a vision? Oops. More seduces. Listen to the silence. What really drives you? Who are you? Who are you since you have set foot in Enderal? 
Now you are the opposite of what you really are. Instructive, strong, powerful, meaningful, in short, the prophet. You have constructed a narrative for yourself, a fairy tale. A fairy tale about what you want to be. And you have found exactly those people who confirm it. That's the most important thing, isn't it? You've found someone who believes in your fairy tale, don't you see? You're simply wrong. All about you is wrong. You are pathetic, you know that? What would Sirius say about all this? Oh, it's an iron war axe. Well, that's better than a knife. I will be taking that. Crusty bread. Um, this? Nope. Not that. This? Nope, not that. There's got to be a lever that controls the gate. Nope. <laughs> not a lever, not a gate. Just a trap. Okay. So let's continue up the stairs then. Shall we? Spooky time. Hey, uh, do you? This, this is so wrong and right at the same time. I, I, I know we can't escape, but you just have a glimpse outside. The, the suppressor will understand. Bro is messed up. <sighs> oh, it's so cold. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go out. After all, I mean, I mean, yeah, yes, the cell is small, but at least it's safe. You need to calm down, dude. It's a lot of fucking blood. There's there's too much blood here. Humans don't have this much blood. <laughs> Excuse me. Humans don't have this much blood. Thank you. Oh, I got corpses. Out. Search despair. God, this is fucking bleep. Hopelessness. Panic. I don't know what all the hanging moss is going to be good for, but... That is enormous. What kind of animal made that? Like, that's a big fucking skull. I'm not seeing, like, an obvious way out. Oh god, did I get stuck? I might have gotten stuck. Fuck.
Okay, we're good. Okay, so I came down from here. Is this the way to go? Yes. I've been through too many rodeos to, to not see the spikes in the hallway coming. He's so far behind me at this point. Let's take some more crusty bread. Search daddy. Oh my god. It's the fucking dad from the beginning of the game. No way. I can pull this guy out into the light so I can get a better look at him. Yeah, that's him. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? This is getting really creepy. And it's sad. Ah. <laughs> Beefed it. Oh, good. Yeah, I just quick saved, so we're good. We're safe. This way. Sorry. Oh, hold on. What am I supposed to do here? Do I have to take remorse? Is it like... Yep. Okay. This guy's gone. Like, he's not behind me anymore. I think I gotta put remorse in there. Oh no, that's a key. So close. But yet. No way to get to it. Huh. Do we think... Um, do, okay, do I have to drop, maybe if I drop remorse down, it will, almost, it's the right idea, nope. Okay. <gasps> it's the cell again. What? Leave 
me alone! Oh, I'll suppress his punishment. It will be horrible. No, you haven't. Because you're blind. The suppressor is here, in every single stone, in every bone, in every drop of blood. And yet you are too blind to see it. But I should have known. I mean, what can you expect from someone who has killed his entire family? I followed you because for a brief moment, you made me want to believe, and now you've dragged me into the abyss along with you. Ugh. Of course I'm a part of you, and you are a part of me. Isn't that obvious? But I should have known you wouldn't understand. You're too weak. You always were. No, there isn't. Just look at us. Look at what we are. We are the damned, because we are trapped too deeply in the past. And that's why we do not deserve freedom. Hmm. Well, well. So you figured it out. <laughs> yes. I am what keeps you in this place. But was it blind rage that made you act, or have you truly understood who I am? Have you understood what drives you and determines your actions? The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is cold. But you still haven't found it, child, have you? The fuck is that? Oh, hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? Good question. The room was empty when I came here. Actually, that's quite weird now that you mention it. The entire temple seemed kind of deserted. But, eh, uh, probably a ceremony or something like that. Now, tell me, how are you holding up? I heard this trial's quite the feat. Apparently, some of the novices never wake up again. In the temple, the curarium, to be precise. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think the others were already awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? I believe congratulations are in order. Well, you shouldn't. Do you know why? Because you're pathetic. Simply pathetic. I said, you are pathetic. At first, we believed it would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. A nobody who let his only friend kick the bucket. As if you'd ever accept that. You humans are always so damn persistent, aren't you? Why? Why can't you just let go? Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. And you, Prophet, you are the biggest joke of all. You are nothing but an urchin. A weakling. And a murderer. And that is why you will burn. All of you. The cleansing will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop. <laughs> Is that 
myself. Such presumption from a fish who thinks his pine to be the world. The world is an interplay of cause and effect, and the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. That's the way it was, and that's the way it's going to be. But enough of the banter, Urchin. We wanted to meet you, and so we did, even though the result is rather sobering. Now wake up! Keep on stumbling through the mist. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, am I awake for real this time? <laughs> no more fake guts? There's not a creepy wooden statue in it, so I think maybe it's possible that I am awake for the first time. Okay. So Dunwar is there. Oh! Thank Malthus. I was starting to think I was the only one. How are you? You look exhausted. You did. That's probably one of the after effects of the potion, but it will pass, I'm sure of it. But it's good to see the Grand Master was right after all. I woke up just a few hours earlier, and he was here in the meantime. He didn't doubt for a single second that you would make it. But I suppose mutual congratulations are in order. We made it. We passed the trial. Almost, yes. All that is left to do is to take the oath. And then Grandmaster Aranthiel will exalt us to the Keepers of the First Sigil. Speaking of whom, he also told me some things while you were asleep. About the Pyreans, about these dreams, and of course, about this... cycle. <sighs> this is so bizarre, really. At first we're told out of nowhere that the gods have died, and now humanity is on the brink of extinction. This is a lot to take in. Yeah. I call it a Tuesday. Hard to say. Not say the other thing. <laughs> I never had those dreams the Grandmaster talked about, even though I'm magically gifted. But then again, I always had the feeling that the Red Madness was more than an ordinary disease. <sighs> well, I suppose all of this explains a lot. At least now I can understand why the Grandmaster was willing to break all the traditions of the Order just to get you exalted to be a Keeper. According to him, most of our battle against the Cycle will stand or fall with you. Yes, I believe that. It's a great responsibility you've been given. And as impressive as your skills are, I would not want to change places with you. No. So it sounds like it's gonna be shitty. <laughs> well, as I said, we both have to take the Holy Oath. You should talk to the Grand Master as soon as you're ready. He's waiting for you in the Emporium. Right. Dunwar. The Apothecary examined him about an hour ago, and it doesn't look good. It's likely that he'll never wake up again. Good, he was an asshole. No, in spite of everything. You know, Dunwar was one of those people who tried to gild their insecurity with boastful behavior. The reality is that he was the last of his bloodline, and his faith in the path and his destiny as a keeper were all that he had left. And who knows? Maybe he would have been a great help to the Order with the right guidance. But I guess Master Bartar's revelation was just too much for him. It's hard to be told that everything you've lived for was a lie. Well, maybe I just don't show it as much. But yes, in a way, you're probably right. I suppose that's mainly due to the fact that to me, as opposed to Dunwar, the Order always stood for an idea. And an idea doesn't die with the one who first thought of it. Funny that the Grandmaster said nearly the same thing during the Exaltation. Dunmore would have considered it blasphemy. I really like the characters in this game. She's so... Un unique. Mm. I knew the question would come eventually. 
I suppose the answer depends on whether you're in the mood for some gloomy talk. Sooner or later you'll hear it from someone else anyway, so... Why not from me first? As you wish. I... <sighs> Where should I start? Maybe with the fact that I don't remember anything that happened before my sixth winter. I don't know where I was born, and I never got to know my parents. Orphan. I wish I knew. What I do know, though, is that the first memory I have is of waking up in the middle of some village. It was dark, and I felt dizzy and, I don't know, empty? That's probably the best way to describe it. I eventually found the strength to get up and look around, and, well, that's when I realized what was actually going on around me. The entire village. It had been destroyed. There were corpses everywhere. Men, women, children. And the houses had been crushed as if some mad god had rampaged through the streets there. And it had all just happened hours before because the destruction was still fresh. Whatever it was, I didn't have much time to think about it. As soon as I got up, I saw three riders coming through the smoke. One of them got off his horse, ran towards one of the corpses, and started screaming something in my direction. Then I felt a blow on the back of my head, and I lost consciousness. By the name of the sun, it's... It's strange to talk about it like this. It's been so long, but the memory feels as if it had happened yesterday. Well, it turned out the riders were hunters who had come from that village. They must have observed the... Whatever it was, from the distance, and ridden back to the village. At least, I think that's how it went. I guess I'll never find out. The reason they thought I was somehow involved is that the village priest found me a couple of days before it happened, near a shrine in the wilderness. Apparently, I was wearing torn clothing, and no matter what the apothecary tried, he couldn't wake me up from my comatose sleep. And it seems that made the writers think I was some kind of witch child, or unholy beast, whichever you prefer. For you, maybe. For them, as simple people, it was probably the best explanation they had. And think about it, it's not that far off. A motherless child who neither talks nor breathes steadily is found abandoned on the roadside and has a strange mark on her face. They leave to go hunting, and when they come back, they find their village in ruins with that foundling child being the only survivor. You have to admit, it's not that much of a stretch even if those men hadn't been superstitious farmers. Probably. Truth be told, I try not to think about it too much. And actually, it doesn't matter, because I somehow managed to get away before they could do anything. I even made it to Ark all by myself, which didn't turn out to be much of an improvement in the end, because I was pathless. Yes. Thinking about it now, I actually wonder how I made it through my time down there. But maybe that's one of the advantages of being a child. You don't think. You just act. Still, the winters down there were cruel. And if Master Tyrus hadn't found and taken care of me, I probably wouldn't have made it through my second year. Hmm. Yes, otherwise I would not be here. He saw me, and he knew what he had to do, is how he put it. Of course, the Order wasn't too happy about a pathless child in the Scuola, just as some aren't happy about you being here. But Tyrus was a highly regarded man, and that's why they let it slide. That's right, we do, but we are both still pathless, and that disqualifies us according to the Holy Verses. I guess now you understand why I was never as connected to Malthus's teaching as Dunmore was. To some of the Keepers, I am still an outcast. And no matter what I do, I always will be. Yes, and now I'm here. <sighs> well, 
here we've reached the end of my impressive tale. I hope you liked it. No, I guess I'm not. Gone. He was very old, and there was nothing anyone could do about it. Oh. But I'd, I'd prefer not to talk about it, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. Definitely not. Don't want to talk about your dead, adopted, older dad. Okay. He does, yes, and he's not alone in his opinion. One of those hunters recognized me in the market my first year as a novice, and you can imagine that it was easy pickings for those who were already against my presence in the Order. From then on, they added names to the derogatory stairs. Demon Child, Witch, whatever they could come up with. <laughs> I'm gonna get flirty. Yes, maybe. You know what's funny? To some extent, I'm glad to be who I am. That way, people just leave me alone, and that gives me more time to focus on what's important. On my goals. Which would be... Several. But I'd say that's enough of the gloomy stories, don't you think? There will be plenty of time for chatter in the future. Maybe. Yes. All of the Dalmordans fell victim to the Great Flesh Maggot Plague of 8215. Flesh Maggot Plague? Actually, it was almost sad to see him running around and boasting about his nobility, though everyone knew that without the help of the Order, he would have probably ended up living in a shack in the Undercity. If you can call that living. Okay. Not gonna get much on Dunmore then, huh? You should. It's already late, but... If you want, I can show you the most important places in the temple before you go to the Emporium. What do you think? That would be nice. Good. Then get your gear from the chest by your bed and we'll go. You should reclaim your gear before we leave. Search much haste. Well then, let's go. Yeah, let me like put clothes on. <laughs> Perv. Alright, um... This is gonna be difficult, because I'd... I was wearing the guy that... Ring of Stamina. I can wear the... Oh, and then equip my sword. Oh, my axe. Or my mace. Yeah, that's fine for now. Play for four, six more minutes. Then we're calling it. Let's, let's let our new lady friend walk us around here. I like her. I like her top. All right. This is the sanctum. It's a place of silence and prayer, and also where we'll be exalted later. So why are we talking? Path oh shit! Wherever I have to remember that. Where is this? My open? sir. <sighs> Let's hope he knows what he's doing. Uh. This is holy ground, Outlander. You do not belong here. Technically, I do now. Because I'm about to be a keeper like you, my dude. Oops. Okay, I think you've seen this place before. We call this part of the temple the Chronicle. 
and in here is gathered the knowledge of the Order, written down in books and parchments. Plus, all of the experiments and research on artifacts and magic is done here, so it's a place you'll probably see often in the near future. Ah, and just below the Chronicum is the Temple Smithy. You should go there if you need equipment. Over there, Noted. that's the Scuola and the Quarters, where both the Keepers and the Novices live. There's also a training room where everything from swordplay to marksmanship can be trained and taught. You will find some skilled teachers there. Well, I think that's about it. You've already been to the Emporium, and I assume to the Eye of the Gods as well. I suggest you speak to the Grand Master as soon as you're ready to take the oath. Prepare myself, probably. Now walk blessed. I will see you soon. I'm gonna hit that smithy up. I have not really done much shopping. I saw she went down this way. I'm not trying to follow you, Kalia. Just know that. Oh, it's late at night, so they are not open. Bummer. It's like an undercroft. Cool. This place is really cool. Oh, what does my fever look like? Probably pretty bad. Strong arcane fever. <sighs> Great. I, I have gangrene, strong arcane fever, and ataxia. <laughs> so there's like a healing place where I can get like healing, yeah? Also, do I get a cool suit of armor? With, like, you guys? Because that would be, like, dope. It would be, like, Badeus. that food no read some books Forgot about this treasure map I got. Ha! Huh. Okay. I don't know what that means at all. Very well. I will... Let's go ahead and save. Make a big old, big old save. You will hear from me. And uh Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take the oath next time that we play this game. Uh, and become keepers of the first sid sidnic signet <laughs> keepers of the first signet um but anyway thanks for tuning in uh watching the roll warriors chat or er, er, uh, stream rather the roll warriors stream um i have been gavin 
And uh, if you're interested in catching this one again or catching up on any of the previous installments of Enderall or any of the other games that I've played, um, I have all that stuff available for video on demand on my YouTube channel, uh, the Roll Warriors uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this stream is going to be available for seven days after today. Um, so you can stream it here on Twitch. Uh, if you if you came in late or you wanted to catch it again or uh, whatever, make sure you're following me so that you get up to date on uh, when I'm going to be streaming. Um, usually I stick to the pretty consistent schedule of every Tuesday night from 8.30 to 10.30 Eastern Time. But every now and then I might add an, a stream in when I've got time and uh, you'll miss it if you're not following me. So make sure you do that. Um, anyway, this is all per to promote my podcast, uh, the Roll Warriors podcast, uh, where we play sci-fi role playing games um, set in all sorts of settings. We've done cyberpunk. We're in a kind of space exploration um, setting right now. So, uh, yeah, check that out. There's over 80 episodes to, uh, enjoy. So hours and hours and hours of content, um, that I've put together as well as, uh, you know, original music to, to accompany it and things like that. So, um, it really is great. I've got a Patreon. If you want to support this stream or if you want to support the podcast, uh, you can check us out at roll underscore warriors on Patreon and pledge $5 a month. Um, get you some bonus content, get to suggest uh, bonus episodes, and, um, and know that you're helping out. All right. Catch you guys on the flippity floppity.